Hello everyone. I'm Suresh Shivasto from the Department of Electrical Engineering IIT Kanpur. My thesis supervisor is Professor Aditya K. Jagannathan. And in this video, I'm going to present one of my thesis work titled OTFS Transceiver Design and Sparse Double Selective CSI Learning in Analog and Hybrid Beam Forming Added Millimeter Wave MIMO Systems. This is the outline of my presentation. Let us begin with the key motivation of this work. It is now well known that the millimeter wave technology, which exploits the vast spectrum in the millimeter wave band, has shown significant potential in meeting the requirements of 5G new radio. Furthermore, the beyond 5G and 6G wireless networks are expected to support ultra high mobility use cases, such as high speed trains and airplane users, where the current physical layer waveform OFDM fails due to high Doppler, and the effect of Doppler further increases at high frequency millimeter wave band. In this context, the recently invented orthogonal time frequency space OTFS modulation technique has shown excellent potential toward mitigating the degrading effects of high Doppler and also an improved performance over OFDM. In fact, we also have several contributions in developing the delay Doppler domain CSI learning techniques for this novel OTFS waveform. And this presentation is based on the last paper given in the footnote. Let us briefly describe this state of the art work. Our contribution is to combine the advantages of both millimeter wave and OTFS, which has potential to yield high data rate in high mobility scenarios. Toward this, the first proposed transceiver architecture is the millimeter wave analog beamforming, AB added MIMO OTFS systems, as shown here in this figure. Our design procedure is summarized in this slide. In stage one, device A transmits probing beams and device B selects the beam WRF from its code book, which is maximally correlated with the probing outputs. In stage two, device B transmit pilot symbols on this selected beam WRF and device A selects the beam FRF from its code book, which is maximally correlated with the pilot output. The stage two pilot outputs corresponding to the selected beam FRF and WRF are also employed for learning the delay Doppler and equivalent gain of the multipath components. Finally, stage three uses these selected beams and the DD domain CSI for efficient data transmission and reception. For this, our key contribution is in deriving the delay Doppler domain input output relationship of the proposed MMWave AB MIMO OTFS system in this form. Furthermore, our CSI learning problem can be formulated as a sparse linear regression problem as this, where the DD domain CSI H, owing to only a few multipath components, is sparse in nature. Then we have also developed a Bayesian learning procedure to learn this DD domain CSI. Subsequently, we extend this MMWave MIMO OTFS paradigm to a hybrid beamforming HB architecture, which employs more than one RF chain for enhanced data rate via spatial multiplexing. The key novelty here is to exploit OTFS modulation and demodulation at each RF chain, while keeping the number of RF chains significantly lower than the number of antennas. Similar to MMWave AB MIMO OTFS system, for this promising architecture also, we derive the DD domain linear input output relationship as this. Furthermore, the resultant CSI learning problem is also formulated as this. Interestingly, here the CSI matrix H bar owing to the multiple RF chains becomes block sparse in nature, which can be efficiently learned via block sparse Bayesian learning. The overall design procedure for the MMWave HB MIMO OTFS system is shown here in this slide. Here the key difference in stage one and stage two is to select an RF number of beams for designing the RF precoder and combiner, followed by block sparse Bayesian learning for efficient DD domain CSI learning. These are our simulation results one can observe that the proposed Bayesian learning procedure for the MMWave AB MIMO OTFS systems yields the best CSI estimation accuracy and symbol error rate close to that of the perfect CSI. These are the results for MMWave HB MIMO OTFS systems where the block sparse Bayesian learning yields the best performance. Furthermore, in the last figure, it is also demonstrated that the DD domain CSI estimation accuracy obtained for the MMWave HB MIMO OTFS systems in high mobility scenario is significantly better than their OFDM counterparts. These are the journal publications directly related to my thesis works, whereas these are the other related journal articles published by me. 
this is the list of my conference publications and these are my works under review and revisions thank you everyone for watching this please post your feedback and queries in the comment box